आंसर ऑफ टू दिस इट इज वेरी क्लियर वॉट इज जेसन वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ जेसन सो याज द पार्ट ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग इट इज वेरी कॉमन रिक्वायरमेंट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट पाइथन ऑब्जेक्ट टू जेसन फॉर्म जेसन टू पाइथन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर्म इट्स वेरी कॉमनली रिक्वायर्ड सर for that which module we require to use inbuilt module python inbuilt module json module we have to use observe that what is the module name sir json json module we have to use take very special care sir here i have i have python object is there okay i have python python dict object is there dictionary object is there sir i want to convert this a python dict object to json regarding i want to convert this python dict object to json can i use the word this process is called what serialization okay next i want to convert json to json to python dict this is called the deserialization right okay take very special care one is serialization second one is what deserialization right so python dict object to json if you want to convert sir this json module contain two functions for this one is uh, dump dump yes dump yes yes uh, second one is uh, dump function is there json module contain two functions dump yes function dump function meant for serialization purpose to convert python dict object to json sir reverse process i want to convert json to python dict object for this deserialization we require to go for load yes and the load functions right okay take very very special care sir here five words are very important okay for programmatically sir which module we require to use json module we require to use for a serialization which functions we are going to use dump yes under dump okay why this yes is there what is the significance that part i will take care dump yes under dump functions meant for serialization next load yes under load functions meant for deserialization right are you feeling comfortable okay well sir when we should go for dump yes when we should go for okay dump if you want i will go for a small executable code take very special care about this one sir observe a bit carefully here i have sir python dict object is there okay python dict object is there sir can you please convert this python dict object to to json string are you getting can you please convert python dict object to json string that's all don't to save this one to your file if you want to serialize python dict object to json string json string then we require to go for which functions are dump yes function okay dump yes yes function so serializes python dict object to json string yes means what a string remember this one sir sir now python dict object i want i want a python dict object sir already python dict object is there i want to convert i want to i want to convert this dict object into json and i have to write that json to a file are you getting right this is the file sir assume that emp.json file is there i want to serialize to a file i want to serialize to a file then we require to go for dump function observe carefully what is the difference between dump yes and dump dump yes converting python dict object to json string we are not saving this one to a file so just uh, serialize to a string uh, then we require to go for dump yes function next uh, sir i want to convert to json that uh, generated json can you please save to file can you please save to file serialize just to a file then we require to go for dump function any doubt about this one dump and uh, dump yes clear right sir now same load under load yes sir assume 
I have JSON string is there. The, from this JSON string, I want to convert uh, to Python dict object. Okay, deserializes from JSON string. JSON string. Then we require to go for load yes uh, function. Sir, have you observed? Dump yes, load yes. Dump yes, serializes to JSON string. String. Next, uh, load yes, deserializes from a JSON string. Okay, well. Sir, same. Sir, Python dict object serializes to a file. Now the file contain JSON. File contain JSON. Now I want to read the JSON data from the file and I want to convert into Python dict object. For that purpose, we require to use load functions, right? Okay. If you want to perform serialization, deserialization with respect to the file, then we have to go for dump and load functions. If you want to serialize and deserialize with respect to string, then we have to go for dump yes and load yes functions. Are you in the position to understand, right? These four functions, uh, JSON module, these five words you people should require to aware. So, how you can perform serialization, right? Serialization by using two functions, uh, dump yes and dump. If you want to serialize to a string, JSON string, not a file, then we have to go for dump yes. If you want to serialize with the file, then we have to go for a dump function. Deserialization from JSON string, then load yes. Deserialization from the file, then we have to go for what? Load function, sir. Don't worry, just aware the terminology. I will explain with the example, then you people can feel more comfortable. Are you in the position to understand, right? Sir, just have a look once. Python's JSON module, JSON module. Yeah, the part of programming, it is very common requirement to convert Python object into JSON form and from JSON form to Python object. For these conversions, serialization and deserialization, I mean for these conversions, these conversions are called serialization and deserialization. Python provides inbuilt module. What is the module name? JSON. Next, JSON module defines multiple functions for serialization and deserialization, right? So, which functions are there? Have you observed? For serialization purpose, from Python object to JSON form, dump yes and dump. When we should go for dump yes, it is serializes Python dict object to JSON string. Dump function, converting Python dict object to JSON and write that JSON data to provide a JSON file. It is serializes to a file. Remember this one, serializes to string is called dump yes, serializes to a file is called a dump function. Okay. Next, uh, for deserialization, for deserialization purpose, from JSON form to Python form. So, load yes, converting JSON string to Python dict, it deserializes from string. Remember JSON string. Load function, reading JSON from a file and convert into Python dict object. So, can you please convert JSON data to dict object from the file? It deserializes from a JSON file, load function we require to use. I hope I covered very clearly, sir, JSON module. Dump yes, dump, load yes, load. Uh, these five words you should aware. If you feel comfortable, then I'm ready to go for a small executable code so that you will get much clarity on the concept. Any doubt up to this? Clear? Sir, up to this, the required theory to perform serialization, deserialization by using JSON is the clear for you people, right? Now let me go for demo program for serialization. I want to serialize. I want to convert Python dict object to JSON. How you can use a dump yes function, dump functions, right? So that you will get much clarity. Have a look once, sir. Sir, I have one, one dict is there. Python dict is there, sir. Assume that employee, employee is the Python dict. Assume. So, Python dict means, ah, can you please spell out Python dict? Dict means what? A group of key value pairs. Assume the name of the employee. Okay. Durga. Name. Name of the employee. Durga, sir. Name is the Durga. Next, age of the employee. Age. Age of the employee. Some 35. Like I'm taking. Next, salary of the employee. Salary. Salary of the employee. Some thousand point zero. I'm taking. Salary. Next, is uh, married 
is married married okay like uh, this property is there true sir true is married this employee married or not next uh, he is uh, having he is uh, having girlfriend or not <laughs> okay just observe this just uh, to cover all data types i am taking he is having girlfriend or not sir none none because uh, this information is not available okay like i took sir so can i use the word capital true none sir 35 this type of thing is a python dictionary remember this so one java person communicated with my python application boss i want uh, this employee data can you please uh, send uh, this employee data like uh, one java person sir one java java app uh, send a request to our python app assume that python python app so python application can't uh, send uh, the dictionary as it is if i send uh, this dictionary as it is java person can't understand that's why we have to convert this uh, this employee this python dict object into json and we have to send uh, that uh, json to the java application okay like uh, so converting python dict object to json is called what uh, respond converting python dict object to json is called serialization for uh, this we require to use which functions right dump s function dump function right sir let me go for uh, sir dump s i want to serialize this python dict object to a string okay assume so import import json like i am taking sir import json json like i am taking now my target is take very special care sir i want to convert this python dict object to json string but in the way sir here json string is equal to is equal to please confirm which function we require to use from json module to convert python dict object to json string do you know json dot dumps function dump s function we have to take are you in the position to understand right which function we require to take care dump s function we have to take just uh, pass this employee object that's all so if i pass employee python dictionary now i will get a json string okay like uh, sir where is the proof it is the json string just a uh, print this string okay print uh, json string print uh, json string like this right sir what is the answer you will get you never going to get a none you will get a null null because in json in javascript uh, none is represented with a null next uh, capital true sir it will become small true like uh, because it is not python string it is a json string remember this one sir okay let me execute this code so that you will get much clarity observe carefully here have a have a look once uh, sir i have employee dictionary is there i have employee dictionary is there sir the same dictionary okay now let me take import json i want to serialize i want to serialize to a string okay serialize serialize python dict serialize python dict dict object to json string to json string to json json string how you can do that sir so json string is equal to sir json dot dump s why i am taking dump s because i want to to a string i don't want to save to the file dump s i am taking employee okay like sir print let me print this json string i want i want to print this json string sir if i print this json string what is the answer by default we are going to get just observe this one yes sir. name durga name durga this is the this is the answer we are going to get just uh, take very special care this is the response this is the output you are getting sir how you can conclude how you can conclude this one is uh, json but not python it is a json string but not python what is the reason for that yes sir here observe he is uh, having girlfriend what is the answer you are getting null null so if it is the python null won't be there none should be there 
Next, he is married. What is the answer we are getting? True, small true. Small true is the JavaScript style, but not Python style. So, we converted Python. Sir, we converted Python dict object to JSON string. For that, for this utilization, which function we require? Dump yes function. Any doubt about this? How to use a dump yes? Now observe. So, here there are some extra options also there, sir. Here, do you know total output, sir, print a to a single line, to a, to a single line. So, readability will be down. So, first key value, next key value, next key value, line by line, more readable form I want, sir. What I have to take? So, for that, we require to go for, here, just observe carefully. If you want more readability, okay, so you can set the indentation also. What we have to take? Here, just observe json dot dumps employee comma comma indent indent is equal to 4 i'm taking sir so indent is equal to 4 now so this json string with the four indentation means four spaces will be there sir sir what it means observe carefully here employee dumps of employee comma indent is equal to 4 indent uh, is equal to 4 4 like this i'm taking sir now observe carefully sir here have you have you observed right here now now let me remove this part okay indent is equal to 4 indent is equal to 4 now this is the output we are getting sir sir here how many spaces are there four spaces are there that is what indent is equal to 4 four spaces right sir can i take only four or can i take anything yes Sir, 20 I'm taking. 20 I'm taking, sir. Then 20, 20 spaces by default will be there, sir. Now observe carefully. Yes, here, how many spaces are there? 20 spaces are there. 20 spaces are there with the 20 indentation. Yes, it is printed, sir. But usually we will take either 2 or 4 indentation we are going to take. Sir, just observe. Now this is the JSON string, more readable form. Any doubt about this? Is it JSON or not? Yes, JSON. With the more readable, here small true null indicates that it is not Python string, it is the JSON string. Any doubt? about this clear right next have you observed right so all keys name at the beginning first name and then age and then salary and then he's married he's having girlfriend life sir i want to sort the keys can you please sort the keys if i sort keys first alphabet symbol a age will come first next is having girlfriend will come next is married next name next salary i want to sort while generating json can you please sort can you please sort based on the keys alphabetical order possible or not yes possible sir what option we require to use is observe carefully so for the dump yes function for the dump yes function here i am taking sort sort keys sort keys is equal to true i'm taking sort keys is equal to true like this i'm taking sir yes now take very special care about this terminology sort keys is equal to true now so the json generated json all the key values will be sorted based on the keys clear for all of you right let me execute this code here observe carefully here just uh, sort uh, sort uh, keys sort keys is equal to true i'm taking if i can take like what is the output we are going to get yes observe earlier first name age salary like but now first age under then is under then i under then name under then salary like now the keys will be sorted based on alphabetical order like this is sir so clear for all of you right how to serialize how to convert python dict object to json string okay serialization to the string is clear by using dump s yes function now sir i want to serialize to a file are you getting i want to serialize to a file how you can do that sir dump function we require to use sir just observe carefully so with the with the open with the open open with the open emp emp dot uh, ser sorry here it is the json data right emp dot uh, json like i'm taking sir comma w mode sir observe carefully 
can you please open mp dot json in w mode as f as f observe carefully so i want to write my json data sir to json file mp dot json file sir now how you can do that sir json module contain dump function not a dump yes sir. dump function so which which dictionary you want to convert to the string sir employee dictionary employee dictionary i want to convert to the string next uh, sir here to which file you want to upload sir f yeah. so convert this employee dictionary into json string under that json can you please write to this file okay if you open emp.json happily data by default will be there so which function we are using sir dump function so serializing to the string serializing to the file this is the code what you should aware sir let me execute this code observe carefully here yeah, my requirement is okay here just uh, with the uh, with the uh, open here just uh, observe carefully with the uh, open which file emp.json okay with the which file emp.json json comma in which mode w mode yes yes okay json dot dump sir which which dictionary object you want to convert sir this employee dictionary so employee dictionary comma to which file f file that's all sir so print print open emp.json to see a uh, json file to see json data that's all just i'm trying to take this one sir now do you know happily sir this employee dictionary observe very very carefully about this one sir happily this employee python dictionary converted to json now that json will be added to now that json will be added to this json file possible right okay let me execute this code sir observe carefully open emp.json to see json data let me open this file sir emp.json emp.json file now i hope you people are saying name is equal to durga age is equal to 35 salary is equal to 1000 is married is equal to true next time after that is having girlfriend is equal to null like this right but total data is coming in a single line sir i want multiple lines sir. then what is the way Ah, please confirm what is the base on dump uh, sorry indent uh, indent uh, is equal to four i'm taking sir indent is equal to four sort keys like uh, whatever options we use uh, yes uh, those options are applicable for dump function also now let me execute this code let me execute this code open emp.json to see the json data let me open emp.json yes for a fact okay now this is the sir serialization to a file how you can do that are you in the position to understand how you can serialize python dict object to json string how you can serialize python dict object to json file dump s function dump function how you can use if you want indentation indent if you want sorting sort keys is equal to true these options we require to use any doubt about this now you are in the position to convert python dict object to json either json string or to the file any doubt